Howdy ho, good neighbor. Today I'm at an undisclosed location and as you can see, I gotta fix a leak, but there's no access to the pipe. So I just made access. I was gonna unscrew all these screws and I started, but these some of these are so stripped you can't get them out. So I had to break out the sawzall and cut out an access. But you can see right here is the leak. It's a 401 cup. Nothing's dry, I mean, nothing's wet. It's, it's dripping right there though. So I gotta shut down the system. And the problem I have is all this water is trapped. So hopefully they have an auxiliary drain somewhere. I don't know, I don't feel good about that, but maybe over here. All right, well, let me get to work and I'll let you know how this goes. I gotta shut it down right now and uh, fix that leak. All right, let's get to work. Well, there you go. That's right, one fire sprinkler leak fixed. Although, to fix it, I had to break it to break it open because of the screws were stripped as I already stated but there is my money maker I had to break that out but look at this baby a couple babies they got these old classic cars but what is this a classic bus of some kind of material hauler like a like that's what you put your tractor on at one time or something but are your classic car but anyway, there you go. So that looks dry. Let's turn on yield flashlight and you can see it is dry. Let's cut. Okay, enough out of me, enough out of you. Let me turn off the yield flashlight. Well, one 401 leaky head drop fixed. Yeah, could have been the head, it could have been the pipe, I don't know, but I tore it up good. All right, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these leak fixing adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.